Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. My name is Courtney, otherwise known as Olivia Stormcloud here on YouTube. And as you guys can see, I am in a different game today. I'm in a game called Star Stable and this has kind of been my obsession for about the past month <laughs> or two. Um, so what this basically is, is it is a horse MMO game um, where you level up horses you level up your character, and you make friends, and it's fun. Um, so basically what I'm gonna do in this video is kind of show you guys, like, how the game works. Um, so before I get any further, I want to mention that this video may have random bouts of lag, and if it does, I am very, very sorry. Um, this game, for some reason, can only be played on full screen, and usually I don't play a game entirely on full screen. I play it on windowed and I don't know if that even makes a difference or not but if you see like a random lag spike I am really sorry. <laughs> I don't usually like recording with lag at all and I've been trying to painstakingly fix this and I think I got it but if there's like a random lag I am very very sorry. Um, anyway so basically what this game is it's kind of like wizards in a way where you level up um, and you do quests and stuff. Um, but the cool thing about this game that I like, um, well, number one, it has horses, and horses are my favorite animal in the entire world. Everybody knows that. Um, but over here, there is a star that says Star Rider. Now, Star Rider basically means that you either bought the game on a month-to-month -month basis, kind of just like Wizard 101 with the monthly thing, but... There's also an option to buy the game forever. Um, so I ended up buying the game forever. It was $70. Um, not too bad, really, because like I said, it's exactly like Wizards in a sense that um, they do updates every week. So there's like new stuff happening. Um, each, like, um, uh, I can't think, season, um, they put out like rain or snow. Um, or like autumn looking stuff. So it's really really fun. Um, I've actually started playing this game a while ago Like maybe about two two years ago. I actually started playing um, and I did actually buy a month membership and that's when I started to really like it um, I just never had the funds to buy it fully so now I can get on it and play it whenever I want um, So I'm gonna leave a link in the description down below guys if you want to try it out. They have a free um up until level 4 trial, so definitely go check it out. I highly, highly suggest it, even if you're a boy. The The weird thing about this game, though, is that it's all girls characters, as you guys can see. There's no guy characters, but I know a couple guys that actually play the game, so... I mean, if you're a guy and want to try it out, <laughs> you're more than welcome to. But anyway, let's go ahead and get over a couple of the different functions on the game. Um, so up here in the top left corner, you will see your name right here. So when you first start in the game, um, you're going to be able to give in a choice between names you can choose from. So again, just like wizards in a sense. Um, and a different like look of your face. Um, and different hair and stuff. Um, some of the stuff I'm wearing though is stuff you get throughout the game. So you're not going to start out with this outfit. You're going to get a different outfit. Um, but you also start as level 1. I'm level 13 right now, which is pretty crazy. The highest level for a character is 16, which is, don't, which, I mean, you guys probably think, you know, oh, that's really a low level. It's actually not, because it takes a long time to level up in this game. Um, and then down below your name is your horse's name, and I'm going to go over my horses here shortly after I go over a couple of the basic stuff. Um, and she is level 9 right now. And then these thingies are, like, the needs that your horse has. So sh I need to feed her, I need to give her water. I need to groom her. So that's basically what this is. This green thingy that's circling her face um, basically means you're in an area where you can take care of your horse because there's some areas you can't take care of your horse. You can't take care of them out on the road. You have to be in like the stable areas. Um, and then this is a happy face to show like if they're happy or not. <laughs> Which is going to go down if you don't take care of them every day. So if you want your horse to be in a happy mood, you have to take care of them every day. Which is kind of crazy, but you can get on for like five seconds to take care of them. It's not that hard. Um, and then down here is a chat, a chat log. So there's a say chat, a friend chat, a global chat, a group chat, and a club chat. 
is pretty cool. Then there's emoticons. I can like wave at you guys. See? I'm waving. Hi guys, what's up? <laughs> so that's really cool. Oh, and then down here is your experience bar. So when you're leveling up, it'll go like yellow, yellow, yellow. I just actually leveled up to level 13 very, very recently. And there's like no quests I can do right now. So that's why there's like no fill up progress down here. Um, then over here is a very important thing. You use this every single time you come on the game. Now I'm going to go over this. This is the map. Um, it's a very fairly large map. And um, when they update the game, they're adding new areas. So eventually they'll add that area, that area, that area, and this area. They just added the Valley of the Dinosaur, which is pretty cool. I haven't gotten there yet. Because um, you have to be, I think, level 15 to get there. Not exactly sure. Um, but I also haven't gone to the Harvest County, or the, the Harvest County, it's the Golden Hills Valley area over here. But when you first start out, guys, you're going to be starting out in Moreland, down here. And you also have access to Fort Pinta. But if you don't have a membership, and you're not a Star Rider, then you cannot go to these other places. So basically, it gives you a chance to, like, explore the game a little bit, see if you like it. And if you like it, then you can definitely pay for it. I think it's, like, six bucks a month, if I remember prop like properly yeah it's something like that um, which isn't too bad considering it's kind of on the same par as wizards um, and then you have discovered areas with all the areas I've been to it's kind of unnecessary right now to talk about but that's that um, then you have this button right here which is your club button um, I was in a club and I think I accidentally got kicked out uh, so I have to talk to the lady because I don't know why they kicked me out. They seemed totally okay with me in the club, and then I came on earlier, and, like, I'm kicked out of the club, so I don't know. Um, kind of weird. This is the main menu. You can quit if you want. You can change options, or you can call for pickup, which is basically, like, your home stable where all your horses hang out. Um, you can choose different, uh, home stables if you want. Um, I'm in Fort Pinta right now. I'm in the Fort Pinta stables, but each area kind of has their own stables, which is pretty cool. Uh, this is your quest log, so it shows your ongoing quests, like quests you're doing, the available quests. Um, you have daily quests. Each day you have uh, different quests to do, if you want to. You don't have to do them. They're not required. Um, there's races, and races are basically ways to train your horse, so that's why she's level 9. So I've done quite a bit of races for Snow, um, but these are the different races you can do or um, haven't done yet. Um, and then chores are basically, you don't have to do chores, but um, you get money and stuff for doing them. So, you kind of, and it takes like five seconds to do, so it's really not that big a deal. Um, and then here is the character sheet, which basically shows all your stats. Um, so here's my equipment, my name, my level, my experience. Um, these are called star coins, and they're basically like crowns, because you spend real money on them. Um, if you do buy a lifetime membership, though, I think they give you about 3,000, which is about... Depends on what how much the horses are, but um, the highest horse amount is 990 star coins. So those are the most expensive ones. And then it goes down to like 390, I think, is the cheapest, which isn't too bad considering you can just like go see up your horse and make it look all cute. Um, so those are star coins. I bought quite a bit of them. I actually probably have had around 10,000 star coins already. Um, and <laughs> kind of splurged a little bit for my Christmas money. <laughs> but well worth it, I think. And then here's our Jorvik shillings. Oh, I forgot to mention, you're in a, a world called Jorvik. Or a region, I guess. Country. Country? I don't know. Um, so it's very interesting. These are just secret stars you can find. Um, then you have a reputation with different areas and reputations basically mean you can buy uh, certain items. So if you're admired, like I am with Moreland Stable, I can actually buy items uh, if I'm admired with them. It's kind of confusing. I'll probably go over it a little bit more in another episode if you guys really like this. Um, I can definitely go over a little bit more. Um, so that's your little character sheet here. And then Snow Queen is my horse. This is your horse, your horse sheet. Um, and it basically says her health, the XP, um, they don't die, that's just if, like, if you, like, run into a rock or something, which I've done plenty of times, um, the horse health dwindles a little bit each time, but that's not really anything to worry about, unless you deliberately just jump on cli jump off cliffs all the time, then it's just gonna be bad. So, I recommend not jumping off cliffs. 
Um, here are the stats of the horse. Each, each, each horse has different stats, um, depending on either the gear they're wearing, uh, or just the horse in general, because each horse comes with a different kind of stat. Um, and then here's the different gear that you can put on them, which is pretty cool. You can check that out. Um, like I said, I'll show off the horse in a second, but that's the horse sheet. Um, here is your inventory. So this is all your stuff. Um, it's kind of small, but you see this like closet thing over here. You can actually store these in your closet, so uh, that way you don't have to take up all the space here. Uh, sorry for the random lag spike there. <laughs> um, and then here's your friends list. None of my friends are online because I'm recording this at like midnight. <laughs> ignore list, you can ignore people. Yes, I've ignored people because sometimes they spam the chat down there and it's really annoying. And then I believe this these are the these are high scores for races, which I never really look at anyway, so not really necessary. Alright, so let's finally get to my horses. Because I'm sure this is what everybody's been waiting to see. The best part about this game is you can have as many horses as you want. Which is pretty crazy. Um, especially with wizards, because with wizards you can only have six, six wizards, right? In this game you can have unlimited amount of horses. I think one girl I know has like 46 horses, which is insane. Um, but you can. So let's go ahead and check them out. Um, I'm sorry if like this lag spike is starts up, which is doing right now, kind of. Alright, so here is my first horse over here. This is Skyrunner. He was my first ever horse I got. So when you start with the game, um, you get to pick a horse and you get to choose the name of it and you get to choose what it looks like. Um, so this is the one I chose and I uh, gave him some cute little green gear here with yellow. This is kind of like the Fort Pinta, Fort Pinta type gear here. He's really cool. Um, he's a Jorvik Warmblood, I believe. So everybody starts out with this kind of a horse when they first begin. And then, as you go along, you can buy horses. So that's Skyrunner. He's level 5. We'll say goodbye to him now. Alright, so we'll go over here first. This is Diamond Prince. He is my English thoroughbred, I think. Um, and I was kind of going with the, the blue theme on this guy here. Pretty, pretty cool. Oh, also, when you're a Star Rider, um, so if you're either paying membership or your lifetime, each horse on their bridle has a little star on, on it, so that's how you know if, like, you're talking to a member or a non-member, um, which is pretty cool. Um, so here's, here's Diamond Prince. He's only level 2. Haven't worked that much with him yet, but it takes a lot of work to level all of them up. But he's, I think he's gonna be, like, my, uh, racer, or, I don't know, jumper or something like that. Or he's just gonna sit there and look at you all cute. Which works too. <laughs> Alright, next on our list here, or we're just gonna go down the line. This is Dark Knight. He is my Frisian, or Frezzy, as people say in the game. You can't actually type Frisian, which is really weird. Um, but this is actually my favorite breed of horse in real life. Just because it looks absolutely amazing, and they are beautiful horses. Um, he's level 3. I still need to work on him, obviously. Um, but I'm going with the red theme because his name's Dark Knight. Uh, I don't know. Seems kind of logical. <laughs> um, but that's Dark Knight. And I know all my horses need to be fed and stuff, but they're gonna have to wait till I wake up tomorrow. <laughs> and then next to Dark Knight is his little buddy Stormcloud. I know you guys are gonna be like, hey, that sounds familiar. I named this pony Stormcloud. And Stormcloud was one of my first winners of a competition. As you guys can see here, he has a, a third place ribbon. We actually placed third place in the Pony Championship, which is awesome. Um, but he's like a little gray pony. And I went with the purple theme, because, hey, Olivia Stormcloud, purple, Stormcloud, pony. Makes sense, right? He's really, really cool. Um, actually, he's more than really, really cool. Ponies are awesome. The one thing um, that's different about ponies, though, than, like, say, my Frezzy over here, is that they don't run as fast, so that's why they have their own competitions, because they can't keep up with the um, bigger ones, usually. And this girl is Midnight Dreamer. I think I kind of separated them into, like, gender categories, <laughs> kind of. I didn't intentionally do that, but this is Midnight Dreamer. She is my Tinker Horse. Um... And this is the second horse I ever got on the game, so 
Um, and then different levels, you can get different horse breeds. So at the time, I think I was level 5, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can actually get a different horse now. So I really wanted to get a Tinker Horse, just because they looked cool. Um, and I was stuck between this one and a pure white one, but ended up going with the black and white one, because you guys actually on Twitter said I should get a black and white one. So this is her. I, um, she's only level 2, too, so I definitely need to like work on leveling these guys up. There's some horses that I just like spend all my time leveling up and then others I just kind of put on the side. Because <laughs> I'm a bad horse owner. Um, but that's Midnight Dreamer. She's really cool. Sorry for the lag spike there. So this is kind of really annoying but gotta deal with it. Alright so this is Snow Queen. Um, I've talked about her a little bit already. She's my Andalusian and I think she was my third horse I ever got. Yeah I think she was my third horse. She's the most um rideable one that I ride. I ride her the most. Um, but she's very, very pretty. I went with the purple or light purpley pink theme on her. She has all these hearts. I kind of went with the heart theme. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's beautiful. I love her. Um, she's, she's a very good all around horse in like competitions and stuff. So, whoa. And she's just beautiful. I mean, look at that mane and that tail. But it's just so pretty. And then finally, we have Autumn over here in the corner. This is Autumn Mist, my Arabian. Um, and Arabians are one of the more expensive horses on the game. Um, I think she was around 910 star coins. Actually, I think my Frisian was 990. So she's probably like maybe the second most expensive, but well worth it because a lot of people have these. Um, and a lot of people who have these types of horses always win competitions if you level them up uh, properly. Um, but this is Autumn. I kind of went on the natural type theme with her. I kind of went um, for Grove. I mean, I think I'll eventually take you guys on tours of like each area. Maybe another episode if you guys would like that. Uh, but she's kind of the fur Grove natural woodsy type theme because her name's Autumn, so... And then she has a cute little sunflower on her on her uh, bridle there. So those are my horses, guys. I know it's not much, but eventually, I think you can only keep ten in here, if I remember right. I think I have seven. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have seven in here right now, so I can hold four more in here. And then eventually, when you run out of space, um, then you have to send them to the... You send them somewhere. Okay, no, I don't want to do that. You can send them to a uh, horse paddock or a horse island or something like that. Um, that's basically where you just send them and, they, and people take care of them for you. And then if you want them back, they'll like bring them to you back. Um, so then if like the person who has 46 horses, I'm sure, you know, 30 of them... <laughs> are at the horse island but yeah guys these are my horses they're all beautiful I love every single one um I also forgot to mention that when you buy them um you have a choice between different names you can't like you can't type your own name but I like matching them with their personalities I think but yeah <laughs> anyways Thanks for watching, everybody. If you would like me to do more of these videos of me explaining, like, Star Stable and stuff, let me know. Um, I'd like to do a Let's Play of the game, but it's a game where, um, once you do the quest, you can't do it again. So I can't make, like, multiple characters. I can only make one character unless I go and make an entirely separate account, which means I have to pay another $70 or a monthly thing. So I may not do, like, um that i made maybe just put post like random things of me running or doing competitions or something i don't know let me know what you guys think i should do or if i should just like stay off of this stay off recording this and just play it by myself which i have been doing but people have been requesting me to show like what it's all about actually no before we go i'm actually gonna ride on snow because i'm probably people probably want to know like what it's like to ride on a horse so you just use the arrow keys, or you can use the WASD keys to move around. This is, oh, let's see, this is the walk. There we go, she's strutting her stuff. This is the trot. 
And I'm sorry for the lag spike. This is the gallop. And then you can go faster. Oh, that's not a gallop, that's a canter. You can go faster, but I'm kind of in an area where you... <laughs> it's not that big of an area to do this. I can try. Let's see. Let's see, we can go this fast. And then I'm gonna stop there really fast because I don't want to run into that thing. So you can run that fast, and then you can also jump. Um, you can only jump if you're a star rider, and you can only jump on a canter. So as you guys can see, whoa! That was weird. This game is fun because it's weird sometimes. There we go. So you can jump like that. But it's really, really fun. I highly recommend it, guys. And Snow would like it if you joined too. And if you did join, then we can definitely meet up and become friends and go on writing trails and stuff, which is awesome and fun. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like. Um, and if you have any questions about the game whatsoever, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll try my best to answer them as quickly as I can. And yeah, I will see you guys later. Enjoy your rest of your day. Bye, guys.